guys, welcome back to my channel. Recently, I should have uploaded a video about how I um, keep my makeup looking matte for longer or what products I use and what products I layer on. Um, now I'm going to share with you um, my favorite foundations for people with oily or combination skin. So I have oily to combination skin and I've been very in denial about it. As you probably know, I love using Revlon Photo Ready and things like that. It gives a beautiful finish but unfortunately it just doesn't keep me matte for as long as I would like to or just makes my skin look like an oil slick. So if you're anything like me, then you're gonna wanna watch this video so that you know what makeup to try out. So people with oily skin, you're gonna wanna look for products that say things on the bottle like mattifying or oil free or maybe oil absorbing or um, shine free or something like that. So look for products that say um, that on the bottle. Um, I'm just going to get started. Um, this is the Miracle Skin Perfector for combination to oily skin and I've got both colors. These are really good. I wear them to work. It certainly is matte and um, hasn't broken me out or anything. These are two of my favorites. I just have both colors. That's why I have two of them. Okay, another really good foundation is the Makeup Store Matte Foundation. Got this at iMatte's. It is really nice, like a lot of matte foundations are very thick and cakey, but this just glides on. It is a really beautiful foundation. It's sort of one of my good ones that I save for occasions. And it doesn't have any SPF in it, so it's great for night times and photography, things like that. Very similar foundation is the Makeup Forever HD. This isn't as ex as accessible in Australia, but I got this at iMats again. Um, it's also really good, but I think I prefer the Makeup Forever one. Uh, another good one is the Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This is a very impressive foundation. If you um, want to buy Arbonne foundations, I do my consultant. I can refer you to her because you do need to buy through a consultant. But this is a freaking good foundation. Only thing is, I have a really light color and I really need to go get matched. So whenever I wear fake tan, I can't wear this. But it is really, really nice and I'm pretty sure it works for all skins. So even oily and dry. It's really, really good. Mm. All those are pretty expensive that I've showed you so far, except for the BB cream. And this one's also very expensive. It is the Chanel Matte Lumiere. This is really good, but after trying the HD and um, the other ones, I feel like it's uh, a bit cakey and you have to use, well, depends how you use it. If I use a wet sponge, it's certainly a lot better, but it's certainly very matte and um, it's a nice finish and very long lasting, but like the next one I'm going to show you, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, it, um, it is very thick and if you're not careful it's going to cake. So these two I find that are quite similar um, products but um, I really hate the packaging of this one. It doesn't have a pump and it's just a complete asshole to try get out. Sorry. Now one that I haven't really properly tried, I've only got this little sample, it's the Revlon Color Stay. So this is a good drugstore matte foundation, it's very full coverage and I hear from people like Lauren Beauty and Makeup Geek and stuff like that that it's really good. So definitely worth a try, just in Australia it's not that affordable and sometimes I'm like oh I might as well buy Chanel. Maybe not so much, I'm pretty sure it's like 40 bucks but still, you know, anyway. Um, that's the doil. So that's it. That I just got a sample and yeah, I tried it once and it was good. So they're my favorites. Oh, one other thing. If you like powder foundations, this Laura Geller one, it's called the Balance and Brighton and I got regular color. Yeah, I got the color regular. And um, I rarely, if I've got a good skin day, then I will wear this as a foundation but usually I like to layer it on top of maybe my BB cream or a tinted moisturizer or something and it's a really nice product. I got mine on eBay. So that was my very quick video you guys on my favorite foundations for oily skin. Um, add any that you think should be in my list below because foundations are my favorite cosmetic and I love trying them out. So please let me know and thank you for watching. Bye bye.